for today's cook, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make an amazing taco al pastor at home. This is guaranteed to have everyone in your family asking you for more. To make it even better, I'm going to show you two amazing sauces to go along with it. And let's not forget homemade tortilla. So let's do it. We started off with a pork shoulder butt. It's 13 and a half pounds. It is an affordable piece of meat and it works great for this dish. The first thing I like to do is to remove the bone. Use the bone as a guide and work nice and slow. The only goal you have is to keep as much meat as possible. So be sure to stay as close as possible to the bone. As you can see, it easily comes out. Since we're making taco al pastor, the next thing to do is to slide them thin. When I say thin, I mean half an inch is thick. You don't want paper thin. And it's all to make sure our marinade will penetrate deeply into that meat. They don't need to be perfect slices, they just need to be thin. Your end goal is to end up with nice large pieces. The next thing to do is our marinade and it is delicious. And here's how to make it. This is guajiro chili. It is not spicy but it has a wonderful flavor. And as you can see, it comes completely dehydrated. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. Since it's completely dry, the first thing I like to do is to put it in some boiling water. That brings the chili back to life. You don't want to cook them for too long, anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute does the job. Once the time is up, just remove them and let them cool down. These are sour oranges. Unlike regular oranges, they're not sweet. Just like their name, they're kind of sour and eating them by themselves is not good. However, they are perfect for a marinade. If you can't find sour oranges, you will also be able to substitute with something else. Remember, it's always on the description down below for you. To make this marinade, all we have to do is throw everything into the food processor. We first started with the sour oranges, white vinegar, pineapple juice went in, followed by the guajillo chilies, garlic, white onions, cinnamon powder, white pepper, freshly ground black pepper, dry oregano, cumin, and to finish it off, a good amount of ajote powder. Now all there's left to do is mix it well in your food processor until all the ingredients have combined together and your marinade is done. It smells so good that you're gonna wanna eat it just like this, but don't. Now all there's left to do is put it in the meat and mix it well. It's important to make sure every single piece is heavily coated. Now the only thing left to do is to cover it up and let it marinate on your refrigerator for 24 hours. As the meat is marinating, I'm gonna show you an easy and simple but refreshing and tasty avocado sauce. Here's how to do it. Using a hand processor, throw in some avocado, lime juice, cilantro, freshly ground black pepper, a good amount of mayonnaise, and Mexican queso crema. Now all there's left to do is mix it well and your avocado sauce is done. I'm telling you right now, this sauce goes well with any taco or any sandwich. Since that was a refreshing sauce, I'm also gonna make a spicy sauce. Come on, this is Mexican food. And here's how to make it. I first started by rehydrating my chilies. We don't want to cook them, we just want to rehydrate them. If you like it really spicy, you can leave the seeds in. But if you know me, I don't like it too spicy. Then I took some tomatillos to the fire. I just want to put a nice char on them to give a nice flavor. Into the hand processor they went, together with my chilies, mayo, freshly ground black pepper and finish it off with salt. Now all there's left to do is to blend it well and your hot chili sauce is done. Here's a quick tip. If you want to save sauces, just vacuum pack them. They will last five times longer than if you leave it in jars. Now let's talk about tortilla. There's a lot of options out there. We got flour tortilla, obviously corn tortilla, tacos made out of white corn, street tacos made out of flour. The possibilities with tortillas are endless whenever you're buying them pre-made. But I will tell you one thing. There's nothing like making them at home. The fact that you control every aspect of the flavor is the perfect way to go. Homemade is always better. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make my version. And here's how to do it. A lot of people like to use lard. This is basically pork fat and it tastes good. However, I found out that butter tastes way better. And ever since I tasted with butter, I changed. And I know it's not traditional, but just give it a try. I'm pretty sure you'll change as well. And this is masa de maiz. It's the perfect flour to make tacos. I started off with my corn flour, threw in my melted butter, and finished it off with water. You want to mix it well until everything is pliable. You're looking for a consistency of play-doh. If it's too dry, you can always add more water. In the end, you're basically looking for a nice pliable dough. If I pat it down and I press it, it lightly crumbles in the edges. And this is the consistency you're looking for. Whenever I'm making tortillas, I never use a measurement. I always go by the feel. Once the mixing is done, make sure to let your dough rest for at least 30 minutes. To make it easy for you to press your tortillas, here's a quick tip. Using a Ziploc bag, just cut out the sides. This will stop the dough from sticking to the press. To make the tortilla, it's pretty simple. Just make a ball, put right in the middle of the press, push it down, and that's it. Now all there's left to do is to cook it up. Talking about that, you want to use a 
cast iron. This makes the job perfect every time because it retains the heat. And you don't want to overcook your tortilla. Just make sure that they're lightly golden brown on the top and your tortillas are done. To help them finish cook and keep them moist, I definitely recommend a tortilla warmer. If you don't have one, you should. It makes a world of a difference. The very next day, my meat was done marinating. So I quickly opened it up and gave it a nice mix. I'm gonna be cooking mine on the grill, but you can do just as good in the oven if you don't have a grill. And to make it authentic as possible, I'm gonna use the pineapple trick. Place the pineapple right in the middle of a pan and using a chopstick, put it right in the middle. This will allow you to stack up the meat just like they do in Mexico. The only thing to keep in mind is try to keep a round shape throughout the whole process. If any of the pieces are too large, just make sure you cut them and put them on top. Try to keep them evenly so that your tower will not fall in the end. Every small pieces that comes out goes right in the middle. To finish it off, just crown it with a pineapple and your Taco El Pastor tower is ready for the grill. Talking about that, I'm gonna be cooking it in indirect heat at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. As the juices starts falling off, I'll be collecting that and basting it in itself. As the edges starts to being cooked, I'll be shaving it off so we can make some amazing tacos with it. But now I say it is enough talking and it is time to make some amazing taco el pastor so let's do it We have our beautiful tacos over here. What do you think, Angel? Mine looks appealing. Yours, huh? Uh, Angel <laughs> wanted to go very, very basic with a little bit of cheese. No green stuff for you, yeah? No Ooh. green stuff? <laughs> green stuff right here. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay, let's go for it, yeah? You ready to try it? Wait, can I try just the tortilla? Yeah. Because I saw you over there making it. Not, I now you I you never had a uh, homemade tortilla. Okay, you try it. Go I for it. I want to try your tortilla, bro. Tell me. Oh. Isn't it completely different? If you never had homemade tortilla. Oh, that doesn't compare. It's definitely like a different experience. Isn't it? The, uh, the one that you mm. buy from the store is so dry. It's like fluffy. Fluffy, moist. You know what I mean? It's like. I like that one. That is amazing. I definitely that recommend it. That makes me want to eat it more. <laughs> All right. Let's go for it, yeah? I'm not a taco expert, but I hope I did it justice, all right? My Mexican friends, take it easy on me, yeah? Yeah? You tell them in the comments. <laughs> Good, how, what are you doing? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. That's good. Come on. That is amazing. Like a sweetness that comes after you after you bite it that's the pineapple such a nice flavor everybody it's difficult to explain this marinade right well let's oh, go. you want to go for another bite let's go well, let's go <laughs> i know you didn't want to try the salsita but you gotta try the salsita it's a little bit spicy but you can handle it bro okay here do like this do a spoon a full spoon <laughs> like that just like that oh, oh he's dead. there you go my friend a full spoon full flavor Take it like a man. Go ahead. <laughs> I hope I survive right tonight. I hope I survive tonight. Tonight? <laughs> Tomorrow when you go to the bathroom, that one's going to come in. It's spicy, but it's not that bad. I'm not going to put Super flavorful. Spicy. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. Spicy. I heard you. <laughs> it's spicy. It's spicy, boy. <laughs> put a little bit, right? Oh, come on, Angel. <laughs> Cheers, no. everybody. Salsita. I'm not dying. You're not dying. How about the flavor? Isn't it extremely flavorful? It does have a lot of flavor. Something in there. It's just hot. 
Like mm. it just makes your tongue tingle. Anyway, guys, this is my results with my taco. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Wow, this is good. So amazing, bro. I can eat this every single day. There's a reason why my Mexican friends are the king of tacos, because it is amazing. See you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.